Hey, this is Dave with OC Astronomy, and uh, a very auspicious day has arrived for us here. Um, I've just taken delivery of uh, a Paramount My T, and uh, it's kind of funny. I've seen uh, some people uh, like unboxing videos, and some people don't like them, but I did want to do a sort of an unboxing video uh, because I'm excited and it's fun. Uh, it's something new, and you don't get to open it but once or twice in your life, right? Um, the other thing is, there is an important difference about buying this mount. Um, there's a couple things to take in consideration as to what you get and what you don't get for your six thousand um, dollars, and and what all you're receiving when you buy this mount. Uh, and you need to take that into consideration and kind of know what you're in for. Uh, here's the boxes that came. Uh, these two these two boxes here, and you'll notice. There is no tripod box in this. Uh, the MyT mount does not come with a tripod for the purchase. You have to purchase one separately, or you have to get a pier or make a pier uh, to mount it on. And probably if you're buying this mount, you, you may already know that. You, you'll probably take that into consideration, but it's going to run you about another $1,000 on top of the purchase of the mount uh, to buy a good pier or tripod. Um, and then the other thing is, uh, there, I've got my, uh, that, that's my daughter's Harry Potter castle, uh, Lego. This is the, uh, uh, right there is the, is another counterweight. Um, you get one counterweight that's 20 pounds with your mount. Um, and the, the rule that I've seen on the software Bits website is you want about as much counterweight as you have equipment. So if you have a small refractor and a camera and whatnot, and it's gonna weigh about 20 pounds, then you can successfully balance that with the counterweight that they give you. Otherwise, you're going to want to get an additional counterweight. And on their website, um, they run a couple, a couple $300 for the 20 pounders and 175 for a 10 pounder. Um, and so that can get a little bit steep. So I've, I bought this one, um, I have bought an extra off of Astro Mart it was used and those come up every now and then you'll see the uh, counterweights for sale and you can just snag one um, and kind of negotiate a price I paid around two hundred dollars for that 20 pounder uh, that's a you know it's a pretty it's still pretty expensive considering that it's just a lump of metal but it is a shiny lump of metal and um, one thing about it is it's uh, it's very dense and heavy it's it's made of steel it's not made of, uh, you know, pop metal or anything like that. So it is, it's very condensed in a, in a small package, which is nice. Um, it also has a one and a half inch uh, diameter opening, which is uh, unique for the, the software bisque mount. You'll see others that have a, a 1.25, 1.75. And so that, I guess that being proprietary for this mount, um, means that you have to get your counterweight from them. Uh, the other thing is it has a, a nice captive uh, bolt here uh, for adjustment. So it is a very nicely machined piece of instrument. Uh, and, and quite heavy too. Um, so that's one thing. You, you're, you're gonna have to pay a little bit extra for the counterweights to balance a heavier scope. Like I've got the Celestron Edge and uh, it, it's going to weigh about 40 pounds plus a little bit more. So I've actually bought that counterweight and I've got another one on the way. I'm going to have 60 pounds of available counterweight to be able to balance that load. So here's what you get in the boxes. I'm going to go ahead and turn the camera around to make it easier to film. Okay, so here we are looking in the, the uh, this is the Mighty accessory kit that comes with, uh, comes with the mount. You're gonna get some Allen keys, it looks like. Um, you're gonna get a, a small USB cable. And it's kinda interesting, I think this is new. They've started including this USB cable with the right angle, and then you'll notice another USB here and a, and a, a tie clip. And there have been some complaints that I've seen online for the USB, uh, the actual, on the mount USB receptacle that this goes in has come loose on some people. And it looks like they're pro they're providing this as a fix um, to better secure this for strain relief 
so that your cable is not uh, tweaking on there and you can tie it down with this and then plug in your cable to the mount there and then uh, prov this basically is providing strain relief which is kind of interesting um, it looks like this also has the cables for the mount in there and the uh, the the nuts to tie down the uh, mounting plate so there's that you get a uh, this is the uh, hand paddle so this will be the I'll get all this stuff out here in a second got a 48 volt power supply that's something else that's different about the bisque most of the stuff runs off 12 volt and uh, from what I can tell the reason why they do 48 volt is it makes it easier to supply enough power for the motors. Uh, so for the motor to have enough torque, 48 volts is better than doing 12 volt. Uh, it has to do with the amount of current and how fast it can supply that current to the motors. So it is different though. You, you can't use a standard uh, uh, 12 volt supply. You gotta have the 48. Um, so the USB stick contains the, uh, the, the software that comes with the mount. Um, and in this case, I also got uh, separately purchased uh, the, the dome add-on. Um, so this has the Sky X, the T-Point add-on, the camera add-on, uh, and that, that'll get you going and controlling the mount. So then that's that packing. <laughs> and here is the counterweight. Ooh, here's one of them. And the counterweight bar. Yay. So that's what we get here, uh, nice stainless steel counterweight bar. And the counterweight bar itself is, is pretty heavy. I imagine if you just had a, a really small scope, you might just need that to, count, to counter uh, balance it. But uh, this one weight will do a small refractor. Let me go ahead and open the hand paddle bag, uh, the, the thing here, and see what the, uh, the hand paddle looks like. All right, so this is my first experience with a software bisque mount. Um, and this hand paddle, it feels like, uh, I'm going to say it's anodized aluminum. Um, and it has the home button here. I know that you, you press down on that and it serves as a joystick as well. So you have joystick. If you, if you double click on it, it'll go to home position. This is just a loop that you can use, uh, to hang it, uh, on your tripod as you're, as you're working with it. And then this is going to be the speeds. So you have speed click indicator. This dial is metal. And uh, it looks like the wiring is, is hard wired into there. And then you have your uh, six pin RJ12, I guess that is, connector. And so yeah, it's a, it's a different way to do a hand paddle. One thing is this mount will not work really uh, without, a computer I mean you can use it but you're not gonna get the uh, what you're after by just having the hand paddle the hand paddle will be able to slew it around it'll be able to home it and you'll be able to do some moving of the mount um, but you're not gonna get any pointing you don't have any go to connect uh, control over this however uh, you ha you connect up to your computer and your computer has with the SkyX software has all of the added uh, features and, and the go-to capability. This is just to be able to manually move the mount around. So that's kind of a, a different and interesting way to do things. Um, still gonna be something to get used to. All right, let's see what's in the other box. All right, so now we're looking at what's in the main box. I, uh, I ate my, my green beans, now I get my dessert here. So, um, all right, it gives you some safety warnings on how to, uh, how to control it. it looks like lock both axes before lifting it out so uh, when they ship it to you they have it where the axis can spin so that if it gets jostled while it's going it won't mess up the uh, drive gears so uh, you do want to lock this in place before you lift it out I'm not gonna be lifting it out right now dun 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 Arrgh. all right so here is the Paramount My T? Um, wow. Okay, so it comes. It comes in a nice bag here, or a you know protective thing. And I guess if I'm gonna follow directions, I need to safely 
lock the access before I lift it out of here. Um, it is definitely a pretty mount. You have a lot more uh, anodized aluminum and it's very nice and shiny. And it comes with the uh, license tag. I won't, I won't show my license number because that, that's my software license number. The, and you have two license numbers. You have one for the mount and one for the software. Um, now I'm gonna go ahead and follow the directions and lock the axis, and then I'll lift it up out of here and take a look at it. All right, so here's the, the Mighty out of the box. Um, everything is, looks like anodized aluminum and very solid. Um, this is the uh, adjustments for the azimuth and then for the altitude. Uh, and there's a, this pin here for uh, setting the height of the lat for the latitude uh, to do the polar amount, uh, polar alignment. Then you have the um, the grommet here for the through the mount cabling, and then these uh, LCOM brackets here. Th these are empty now, but you can buy keystones, and the keystones fit in there. Um, and then here is the back of the Versa plate that gives you your uh, power out and your USBs out. Uh, guider and some some extra uh, power you can't draw any more power than one amp at, combined out of both of these and this one is not live power it's a basically an extension cord this cord goes uh, through the mount and it appears down here but you should basically think of I have to plug power into here and then I will get that power out of here so this is just serving as a connector and extension port and then here's the uh, the back of the control panel. Here's that small USB, and this is the reason why they had to include that little cable in there. Uh, you have to plug into there and then tie that cable down so that it won't yank on this. Um, and so that's gonna be a, an interesting addition. The power uh, 48 volts is screwed on, uh, so that provides your strain relief. It's captive on there, so you won't jerk your power out in the middle of the night. And then you just have uh, power on and off switch there. Um, they, it's interesting. They call it a joystick and not a hand controller, or a, you know, it doesn't have any go-to capabilities, but it does have the homing button. So interesting. They call it a joystick. So all right, very excited. This is a. Um, it's it's kind of heavy, but it's about as heavy as the uh, the Celestron CGX that I was used to. Um, it is uh, kind of big, but it's it's in a nice. You know, it's in a nice package. It squares up really well. And one thing that I have heard is you want to keep the, the foam. You want to keep the packing foam that comes with it because you can buy a soft case. And as long as you have the same foam, um, it fits into this nice tidy little package like this uh, if you want to take it portable. And that's kind of the intent behind that. Um, so, yeah, there it is, unboxed. I'm sure I'm going to show some more as we install it.